Sugar. Whenever we use the term sugar, then what comes in your mind? Sugar enhances the flavor of the food, sweetness of the food, aroma of the food product, increase uh, diabetes. I know, but I'm not going to talk about this. But you know what? Sugar plays an important role in the food industry, especially in the case of bakery industry. So in this video, let's explore together the different uses of sugar in the food industry. So hello guys, my name is Shraz. I'm a third year student of BTEC Food Technology. And if you end up liking this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon for the future updates. See, it is right, the primary function of sugar is to add sweetness, enhance the flavor, aroma of the food. But apart from this, there are several uses of sugar. Like it affects the weight and volume of the food. Let's take an example of bread. See, in the case of bread, sugar is present and the yeast, which is used for the fermentation, break down the path of sugar and transform it into various components like carbon dioxide, which increase overall volume of the bread and makes it more porous. So here sugar is used to increase the weight. Now the second one is sugar plays an important role in gelatinization. It is a process where starch and water is heated and as a result gel is formed. The temperature of heating varies from uh, 55 degrees celsius to 85 or 90 degrees celsius. Now the third one is sugar is involved in the preservation of food. See what happens here. Any food product is having two types of water free water and bound water. This free water is responsible for the growth of microorganism as it is freely available for the growth of organism which spoil the food product. So in this case if we add sugar then the sugar form bond with the free water and the free and this free water is no longer available for the growth of microorganism hence increase the shelf life of the food. Now the third important use of sugar is to reduce the freezing point. Let's take an example of any product which freeze at a very lower temperature and with the help of sugar, the freezing temperature is increased. Which means if any product is having its freezing point at minus 12 degrees Celsius, then by the addition of sugar, its freezing point reduces to minus 2 or minus 3 degrees Celsius. Interesting, right? And that is the reason why in the case of ice cream and dessert, very high amount of sugar is used. To decrease the freezing point. Remember, it is not only used for the sweetness and flavoring, of course. And one more reason that in ice cream why high amount of sugar is used because it reduces the risk of formation of large crystals. Just think if ice cream is having a large crystal and hence enhances the overall texture and taste of the ice cream. Now the fourth uses of sugar that it enhances the color. As I discussed in my previous video, Mellard reaction and caramelization. Sugar is involved in the browning. By the way, if you haven't seen yet, check that video after watching this video. Link is in the description or in the i button. So make sure to check out. See, everything is related to one another. That's the beauty of science. Now the fifth uses of sugar is the role of sugar in surface cracking. See, simply in the case of cookies, biscuit, where sugar concentration is too high and the water content is too low. At the time of mixing and baking of the cookies, the leveling gases expand and cause cracking of the dry surface. And here leveling gases is concerned. So let's discuss the role of sugar in leveling process. Sixth point, very beneficial in bakery industry. See, sugar make yeast more effective because it provide nourishment for its growth. When this yeast break down sugar, then it speed up the release of carbon dioxide gas. And when these bubbles expand, the dough rises at a faster and more consistent rate. Now the seventh one is the role of sugar in creaming. Again beneficial for the bakery industry. In the case of cake, in the case of muffins, it increases the fluffiness, decreases the weight, makes it more porous. Want to know how? Here cream is made with the help of butter. So first we have to beat the air into the butter and add sugar and if we add sugar and again the process of beating is continued then it will result in delicate and lightweight cream muffins or cakes of course with attractive color very beneficial for bakery industry now the next one is role of sugar in egg foam formation you know what the right amount of sugar stabilizes the egg foam here when sugar is beaten into an egg white foam it dissolves in the protein of egg white and this sugar syrup prevent protein from drying out and tightening up too fast and as a result foam is formed 
egg form is formed. Again, it is very helpful in the case of bakery industry. Now the next important use of sugar in the case of canning. Let's take an example of jam and jellies. High amount of sugar is used to preserve the taste color aroma of the food product and that is the reason why very high amount of sugar is formed in the case of jam and jellies again a very important uses of sugar in the bakery industry in the case of development of gluten see during the process of mixing of dough flour protein are hydrated that is we add water which forms gluten strands and if too much gluten is developed then this dough become rigid and tough which is not desirable so here sugar competes with the flour protein which is responsible for the formation of gluten and as a result limited amount of gluten is formed which is elastic in nature so these are the different uses of sugar in the food industry so if you are thinking the use of sugar is restricted to add sweetness to the food that is flavoring of the food to add aroma in the food product then you are wrong that's why i said like this in the beginning hence proved so if you learn something from this video make sure to hit the subscribe button press the bell icon for the future updates and thanks for watching see you soon in my next video take care guys bye